Well, former opponents of Donald Trump were singing a different tune last night at the Republican National Convention as they all fall in line now supporting the former president. CTV's Scott Hurst has the latest from the Republican National Convention. Uh, Scott, what was the focus or highlights of, you know, day two of this convention, which happened just a few days after Trump's assassination attempt on the weekend? Good morning, Nick and Jen. Old rivals one by one taking the stage, throwing their full support behind the now official Republican candidate, Donald Trump. And these are names like Vivek Ramaswamy, Ron DeSantis, and most notably, Nikki Haley. Of course, at one point, she appeared to be one of Donald Trump's fiercest rivals, the only candidate who had a chance to really sidetrack Trump's road back to the White House. And there was a point in time, even after she dropped out of the race for the Republican nomination, she she wouldn't commit to supporting Trump and with that all of the delegates she had gained through the process but if there was any doubt she put that to bed last night saying Donald Trump has my strongest endorsement period it was a continued show of unity at the Republican National Convention while the rest of the focus was on safety and security with an emphasis on immigration Nick and Jen other than the keynote speakers the crowd heard from families affected by violence with the theme of the night make America safe again. Mm -hmm. Boy, the pretzels politicians are willing to turn themselves in. Uh, it's quite remarkable to watch, Scott. In the meantime, what should we be looking for on day three of the RNC? Yeah, really an about face for all those old mm -hmm. rivals. So looking ahead to today, the keynote address will be J.D. Vance, of course, the newly minted vice presidential candidate. He's expected to address the crowd for the very first time and officially accept the uh, nomination for vice president, uh, for the nomination to run on Donald Trump's ticket. Now, as a political newcomer, of course, only elected to the Ohio Senate to, uh, to the Senate from Ohio in 2022. For those who might not be at the Republican National Convention, maybe Republicans watching from afar might not be too familiar with him. So this is a chance for him to pitch himself to voters far and wide, not just there at the convention where it really is a show of unity, as we've seen both Vance and Trump show up at both nights to a raucous crowd and sit there in the crowd side by side listening to many of the speakers, guys. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that assassination attempt on Trump's life really giving his campaign life. So we'll see what happens uh, with U.S. Uh, President Joe Biden and his campaign. Thanks so much, Scott. Thanks a lot.